YouTube, this is your girl Jaquista and um, I'm coming to you with a really really quick video on how I do my deep, well I'm not going to call it deep, but side part bang quick weave. Um, I already braided my hair down. It's really simple. I got this much leave out that I have marked. Um, I have this little bit right here and then I just have these braided in real huge braids. Nothing fantastic. Um, if you want to find a braid pattern, I'm pretty sure you can find, go on YouTube at different YouTube videos and find braid patterns, but yeah. Um, today I'm also going to be using a pack that I see in my hair store all the time but never tried to use, which is the Mega Brazilian Remy Hair. What the pack looks like, I kind of tore it, but I have it in a color, um, what is this, ST1B Red. Looks like I have it in a 22, 22, 22, 20, 18, and 16 inches. And this is what the hair looks like. It's super thick, duper thick. It's a lot of hair. Comes with these four bundles, a closure, and a bang piece. My bang pieces will go here for my bang so I don't have to cut. Um, I know you guys will ask me, does this hair curl? Um, but as you guys know, um, I always use my bang pieces as trial pieces. So um, once I put it in, I'm going to use this as a trial piece to see if it curls. So I don't melt that hair if it melts. Um, but it does say that it is, or maybe it doesn't. It's a human hair style mix. So it's a synthetic mix blend. Doesn't say anything about heat. Oh, there it is. Um, it's safe up to. I'm sorry, I'm struggling. Um, I don't have on my glasses, and that's super small. Oh, it just says safe curling iron on it. Okay, so I'm gonna make this really, really quick. I'm gonna start with my 22 inches. Okay, before I start that, what you will need is scissors, glue, a brush, and edge control. That's all I use. Let's get started. Okay, I just unraveled the hair and the tracks are super thin. Super duper thin. So, because I have so much hair, I'm going to put them so, so, so close together. I'm going to turn around once I measure. One thing you're doing is just measuring. And because I've been doing this a while, I don't have to look in the mirror to do this. So I'm going to turn around. Once you cut the piece of the desired little thing you need, you take your glue, which I think this one is dried. I bought a new one. I would have spritz, but I forgot to buy some while I was in my local beauty supply store. So I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to just kind of feel. And it's going to be a little hard for it to stick because I'm using two stocking caps, but just a little patience, it'll stick. Okay. <laughs> so when I start doing a little altering, because one thing I'm going to do is just keep laying them close, 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 close. Till I get about temple area and then that's when I'm going to start forming my bang, which I'm going to show you how I do my bangs differently from other people. Okay. Okay, I installed all of the 22 inches. This is how long it is. Okay. 
and I am 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so yes, it's pretty long. So far, this hair is shedding a lot, and I guess because I cut all the tracks. Um, so once I get done, I'll comb through it and get away all the flyaways, the strands, and all that different stuff like that. But yeah, um, this hair has texture to it. Only thing that does not is the red ends. They feel silkier than the rest of the hair. And there's some tangles, as y'all see. I don't want to pull it because it's still kind of drying. Like I said, I got two stocking caps on, so it's a little harder for it to stick. So I can't pull on it too much. But it's working out right now. See, and now I'm about to install the 20 inch. Okay, you guys. And I kind of came up on this side close to my part. And I have this much. So I'll show you the back. And I filled in the back where necessary. Now what I'm doing is I'm measuring a track piece from here to the back here, which is about this long. So what I'm gonna do is from here to here to kind of fill it in because you know there's more space over here than over here. So I'm gonna do how I've been doing, gluing this little piece. Putting glue on it. And then putting it Like that. To kind of fill in, and this is what I have left of the 20 inch. So, yes, all my tracks are super close. And I'm going to keep doing this process until I'm out of the 20 inch. So you guys, that's all of the 20. I'm going to start doing my bang. I think I'm going to lay one or two more tracks before I start doing my bang area. And I'm going to come back and show you how I do that. But right now, I'm going to do my, my um, one or two tracks. Going from here and stopping there. And then I'm going to do my bang area, fill it in, fill it in, and then close it all up. Okay, you guys, this is what I have left for my bangs, and decided to finish closing it in. But this is 22, 20, and two pieces of the 18. Okay, so now what I'm about to do is use my J bang. Unravel it. This is how much of the jank bay they give you. And I'm gonna start laying it from this side to my part, this side to my part, this side to my part, this side to my part. Get it? Okay. And because my tracks are pretty much even, I know that they all gonna be the same length. But I don't like pre-cutting my hair because I don't want to overcut or, un well, I don't want to undercut. I can overcut and fix. Undercut. Undercut, yeah, I cannot really go back and fix. I can kind of try and cover it up. But I don't like knowing the fact that I have errors in my head. So I've got it on there. And I found some spurts, you guys. Kind of spray it, let it air dry, and then stick it as close to that part line that I have to the thing. Like that. Kind of fluff it. 
So I'm going to lay all the pieces like that. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I close this bad boy up. Okay, you guys, I finished the bang area. And I'm not going to lie. Having on two stocking caps gives me a headache. Oh, my goodness. The worst headache. But I guess beauty takes pain. But um, now what I'm doing is closing it in. Which... Yeah, I'm closing it in. And the only thing I'm doing is measuring from this side to this side. Trying to fill in the back a little bit. Oh, and after the 20 and 22 inches that had the red in it, the rest of them are just all black. They have no red in it. I'm sorry, you guys. If I start sniffing, it's because I have to sneeze and it won't come out. Yes, it's real simple. Just filling in the back. I don't know how much of that you can see. I'm just placing it as I feel what needs to be closed in closer to my part. Okay, you guys. This is the final product. Well, not final. I still have to do my leave out and everything like that. Um, once I clean up my bathroom a little bit, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how I blend in my hair, which you guys know I'm natural. So, I'll show you how I blend in my hair and my baby, I mean, not my baby hairs, and my edges, okay? Okay, you guys, I already braided my hair down in pigtails. This is how I normally wear my long hairs. Um, I already cut the stocking cap off of my leave out, and now what I'm about to do is straighten my leave out, okay? So, what I'm going to do is just... Unbraid this. And I'm going to part it. And I don't need this. I kind of part it unevenly. As in, I got more hair on this side than I do on this side. Because this is where my bang is. I'm not, I don't really want to manipulate my hair in that motion because it's not going to stay. Um, I'd rather manipulate it going downward. Okay. So what did I do is take my black Jamaican castor oil mixed with my rosemary oil and I kind of put a little bit on my fingertips. Rub it together and rub it on my hair. Okay. Now what I do is I take it, I don't like doing small section, sections because I turn my flat iron on the highest temperature, which is 450 degrees, which that is way too hot. Normally, y'all know I use my titanium flat irons. I don't know where they are, but um, I'm going to turn it down to 380. Now what I'm going to do.
just flat iron it. Just that simple. Now my hair, I'm probably laid down for right now, but my hair is difficult and it does not stay straight. So I'm gonna kind of manipulate it in there and I'm gonna take the clamp that I had on my bangs and I'm gonna kind of clamp it down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did that side to this side. Just like that. Kind of clean it up a little bit. <laughs> you guys almost fell. Okay, I'm back, you guys. I almost y'all almost had me. <laughs> anyway, okay, back to the business though. Um, already flat iron the top part of my hair. Now what I'm about to do is take my little toothbrush and a regular brush, not my personal toothbrush, my hair toothbrush, and my edge control. It's the olive oil edge control. I don't really like it because it leaves a white residue in my hair and this is all I have. But the less you put, the less likely you'll have the residue. Let me see if I can get up on my edges. I'm gonna do it first to take my brush. Find all my baby hairs. a little bit on my finger instead because it's kind of getting old so it's kind of hard Now, I almost forgot about the little piece I left on the side of my head. And there you have it. I will show y'all with the hair down, but I don't feel like untying it. So, she gets the general idea. Let's see if I can get a close up. Nice and natural looking. Okay. But if you guys have any questions or concerns, you can drop them in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at xfollowkiki. Um, I'm going to leave any information, any products that I use in the toolbox, in the description box down below. Like I said, thumbs this video up, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching my videos. Okay? Bye.